Niners family, Brian Cooper Jr. here, and I have a special guest with me for Free Agent Friday, and that is Frankie Lubu. Frankie, appreciate you man, coming appreciate in and filling up with us, man. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's it been so far, man? You come in, you put pen to paper, man. How has it been being in the building and the reception you got? Man, pen to paper, man, that was probably the, it's a blessing, yeah. you know? So overall, everything is a blessing, man, to me and my family. Um, so far, man, the energy has been throughout the roof. You know, the moments I stepped in, I landed. Um, so just looking forward to more. Yes, sir, man. You came in with the drip, man. Came yeah, in yeah. fresh hair, laid <laughs> out, man. Looking good, man. And I'm happy to have you here. And you talk about being blessed. Yeah. That's really the story of your career, man. You know, you go undrafted. Then you make special teams. Then you become a starter. Right. Now, you're one of the top free agents that the commanders are bringing in here, right. man. Talk to us about that journey and what that journey did for you, not only as a person on the field, but off the field as well. Right. So, um, you know, working off at Washington State, coming out of Washington State, I was an outside backer coming in. And, um, you know, went through the whole draft process. And one coach that, to this day, and I would thank him for that, um, RIP to him, but Kevin Green, mm -hmm. uh, Gold Jacket, outside linebacker. He was my outside backer coach up there when I first got with the Jets. And, you know, one thing he, I will remember when he called me on the phone, he's like, man, when you trust my technique and fundamentals, you know, and trust what I'll be coaching, you won't succeed. Yeah. You know, and he, he, he gave me a shot, and that was like the first open door that, kind of opened up and kind of took that route. So got my way there, man. I had a chip on my shoulder, um, you know, came in undrafted, um, kind of followed what the old heads did, um, stuck around with them, um, you know, had a lot of old heads around me to show me the ropes and everything, was blessed to do that. And then the mindset from there on didn't change, you know. Um, dog, you know what I mean? I, I'm better than you and point blank period. And that, that's kind of like the mindset and mentality that I kind of took. And kind of got me this far, and you know I ain't taking none for no one. And showing up every day, you know, and some of the days you don't want to show up, yeah. but those are the days you really want to, you know, put in the work. So, um, and I'm just blessed overall. My whole career, from the moment I started to where I'm at right now, you know, just manifesting in and seeing my fruition to come in life, and not only that, having my family around me to pray for me and see that backbone behind me, you know. Um, I'm just blessed enough to play every Sunday and, uh, you know, not getting injured or anything like knock on wood or anything like that, man, because, you know, I have a huge support system behind me and the whole whole village and the whole island and the whole support system of prayer warriors behind me, and, and, and I'll come behind that culture. And so the fit I'm wearing today yes, man, is a little bit of our culture. is what we wear on a Sunday, uh, you know, the church. You know, mom's was here. She probably like, you know, this is what you will wear. You Amen. know what I mean? So... Uh, just being here, man, is just a blessing, man, overall. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And you talked about those OGs in your life that kind of right. blazed that path for you. Yeah. We got an OG here called London Fletcher. He's mm -hmm. a, one of our hosts on Command Center. Sure. And he was also an undrafted linebacker and just a leader, just a dog, much like yourself. Right. What about that chip on the shoulder that you talked about shows on the field, in those games when you're out there, man? What is going through your head? Man, just proving everybody wrong, man. Uh, I know a lot of people that doubted me coming from when I got off the island to when I was in college to where I'm in in the league and still is. So, you know, comparing and resonating myself with London Fletcher, man, it's just, a, it's just an honor, man. Like, you know, but things don't come in the easy way. You got to go yes, get sir. it. So I think he went about his ways and doing business the right way, and I, I want to lead right behind him, you know, following right his, behind his footsteps. So being in that shoe, man, and um, seeing that, man, it's an honor. But... I'm just, like I said, I'm blessed, bro. Real, real stuff. Real You're blessed. very yeah, blessed, yeah. man, because you also have a head coach mm -hmm. that loves a versatile player, that wants to have a versatile player, Correct. especially on that defense. Right. And that, you exemplify that. Oh, yeah. Talk about your versatility and where you feel comfortable on the field and how important it was to be under a head coach like Dan Quinn, who prides himself in versatility. Right. He hit it on the head, what type of player I was, how he's going to use me, my physicality. I go forward, I go backwards or yeah. sideways. And he kind of hit it on the head. So I'm like, man, I prayed about it the whole time, you know, leading on my, to this day. I'm like, man, this is your will, Lord, and let it be. Yeah. You know, me and being a guy like Dan, man, like I told him, I felt like I'd known him for a long time. And for a coach to see what I could do and, you know, not even playing uh, for him like yeah. years past, but now seeing something in that, man, it's just respect, you know, and, and I truly believe if you pour into the game, they're going to love you back. So, um, yeah. And game recognized game, yeah. man. So you yeah. know Dan knew what's yeah. up with that. Yeah. And it's not just Dan Quinn. You also have a linebacker coach in Ken Norton Jr. Yeah. who was a part of some very, very yeah. special linebacking yeah. cores and coached them up. 
How excited are you to play under him and get that knowledge from Ken Norton? Man, I, me just spending the time with him the yeah. whole time in the building, man. Dude's just got a different type of energy. I feel like I got to top his energy. Like Uncle like, Energy, yeah, right? Yeah, Uncle Energy, bro. <laughs> like, that's one dude I feel like he's going to be talking. Yes, but, like, he know he he know what he's doing. You yes, know what I mean? He, he, he sees something in you that, man, I need more out of you. So, man, just being under Ken Norton, man, working with him this year, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait, man. So... Sky's the limit, man. We're going we gonna to do big things. Sky is definitely the limit. I can't wait. The fans can't wait. And they're so excited that you're here. Yeah. They actually sent us a question. You mind if I ask you that Let's question real quick before Let's we let it. you go? Let's do it. Yes, sir. This is from Stephen Lofton, 8625. How does it feel to be one of the best linebackers the franchise has had since the great London Fletcher? <laughs> you know, the fans love you, man. They're going to give you a lot of hype. <laughs> hey, Steve, man. I appreciate the question, man. But to compare me to London Fletcher, Fletcher, um, Man, it's an honor. Um, you know, uh, never in a million days, man, I thought I would be in the position I am today. And even to compare myself or see myself as, you know, the great London Fletcher, man, I'm, I'm blessed. You know, hopefully I can do, I can fill up the shoes and hopefully do better. But, man, just know you're getting a guy that will show up every Sunday, man, will play my heart out and pretty much blood, sweat, grind, scratch, everything, you name it. <laughs> And um, man, I can't wait for this fan base to blow up, man. Cause man, we're gonna we do, we're gonna do something special, and um, I truly believe in that. We're gonna manifest and we're gonna bring it to life. I love that, man. And I sure. believe it as well. I have no doubt that you'll not only fill his shoes, but you will make your own path and make yes, your sir. own shoes. And maybe one day I'll be sitting here with another yes, young undrafted brother saying he wants to fill your shoes. Frankie, thank yes, you sir. so much for your time, brother. You man, good luck me. with everything. We can't wait to see you this love. season. Commanders family, this is Free Agent Friday. Yeah.